Hello everybody. Today I want to show you how to collaborate with GitHub on a project that is in fact a fork of an external project, an external done by someone else. The first thing you have to, go to do is to locate the software you want to work with. In this case, uh, I will uh, select uh, the software MLPack, uh, a scalable C++ machine learning library that is um, uh, available on, uh, on GitHub. This is uh, the page of the software. Uh, you can see the, the main files and the main commits, but uh, what you want to do is to have your own copy of this code so that you can uh, work on it uh, without, of course, interfering with the mainstream development taken care by the developer of this library. So the first thing you have to do is to fork the project. So you fork it. And uh, well, I have many places where I was uh, I can fork it. Let's fork it in l 4 You have to wait uh, just a few seconds uh, that GitHub uh, forks the repository. Now you have your own copy, you see, in my case it's l 4 pack of the software. The second thing you have to do is to clone into your local repository the version you have just forked. So you just go here, you select, then you go to some places and you do git clone. takes a while because it's not a small library, this one. I see a lot of files. Now, what you want to do is uh, still to take con to have connection with the original code so that uh, if uh, the developer of this library makes improvement, uh, you can uh, uh, enjoy their their uh, their improvements. Uh, so what you have to do, you, you have to go back to the original repository. Here it is. Okay, go here, take the address, and add that address at another remote repository. So git remote add you give a name. I normally give the name upstream in this case, but you can choose a different name and select the address. Sorry, I didn't go in the right directory. Okay, perfect. Now, if I go git remote, if I do git remote minus V, I have all the remotes. I have origin, that is my place and uh, the upstream that is uh, the place, the repository of the original developers. Now, the other thing you have to do now is uh, go back again uh, to your repository, remote repository on GitHub, and eventually, if you are collaborating with some if you plan to collaborate with somebody else, uh, give, uh, give him or her permission to work on this repository, yours repository. And you have to go to Setting, Collaborators, and add, uh, well, you have to log in, uh, haven't, uh, yet log uh, it will ask again the password, but then uh, the thing is very simple, you just add uh, the name of uh, your friends uh, that have to collaborate with you in uh, this endeavor. So now I have uh, two, rep two remote repository. How do I work with that? Well, I have to decide uh, how to, I want to organize. One possibility is to keep uh, the master. At the moment, uh, if I do git branch, I don't know which branches do I have. I have at the moment only master. 
to keep the master always uh, up to date with uh, the original uh, with the original repository with the original version of of uh, of the library while you work uh, on a branch but so the first thing you have to do first of all is anyway to pull the upstream so that uh, your git uh, will get information about uh, all branches uh, and all code uh, in the upstream repository because it is true that your fork uh, is just a copy of the upstream repository but uh, your local git doesn't know it okay so you do git pull upstream and you see now if i do git branch minus a i see that i have now two types of uh, of um, of a, a remote repository that i'm linked with origin that is my repository the one uh, in my user uh, connected to my username on github and upstream that is the original one and i have in particular remote upstream master as well as remote origin master now the i would suggest you but uh, to keep uh, your master just a copy of remote upstream master and uh, you work instead on a branch so you create a branch you can use a git checkout in this case so you check out minus b and you give a name pax project so this is uh, the branch where you will do your project if you do git branch now you see that you are in pax project now, since uh, you want also your collaborator to work uh, on this branch, uh, you need to push this branch uh, on your remote because uh, GitHub, of course, doesn't know that you have created uh, Pax project. This, at the moment, is only a local branch, okay? Exists only on my computer in this, in this moment. So what I have to do, git push origin, so in my place, Pax project. Um, I can avoid writing Pax project because it is a current branch, but it doesn't hurt. So now what you see, you see that you have created a pull request for Pax project on GitHub on, on GitHub, but in fact, uh, GitHub has uh, created the new branch, the new branch Pax project that is connected to Pax project because the two branches have the same name in the remote repository and uh, locally. What your friend, your collaborator has to do, very simple, has to go to GitHub, to your copy your fork of the repository get that and uh, now i pretend to be another person okay so i have to create another directory and do git clone so now I, pr I pretend to be the other person that is collaborating with you in the project. Fortunately, it's going to take again a little bit because it's a big uh, project. Uh, apparently, it's a bit uh, faster than before. Well, not much. Now, the very important thing, if you follow this scheme, is that uh, you and your collaborator will never work on master because master in this uh, uh, way of working is meant to be a copy of uh, the original library so it will kept be it will kept updated 
with uh, the changes uh, done by the original developers of the library, because maybe the original developers of the library are going to make changes that are interesting also for you. So let's go here. The first thing your collaborator has to do is to do git checkout pax project. Pa uh, pax project. Was it like that, right? Okay, branch PAX project set up to track a remote branch PAX project from origin. So now your collaborator is connected to your common repository. Okay, um, if uh, he or she wants to, he can add also the, the upstream remote, but it's not necessary. The important thing that one of you has got the upstream remote uh, in um, connected. Huh? So I go back uh, to the original. So now git remote minus v. I am the one uh, who, who is also connected to upstream. Let's suppose that the developer of uh, the developers of uh, the original library had made some changes that may be of interest also to you. What do you have to do? You have first to go back to master. This is a git checkout master. So now you are in master, and then you do git pull upstream master. So you are pulling from upstream the master. Now probably, okay, already up to date because clear, clearly there, no, there are no changes, but uh, in general you will find the changes from the last time you pulled from master done by the original developers of the library on the upstream repository, on their repository. Now you can have a look if the changes are good or what you want, if, if they are fine. And if they are fine, you go back to your branch. Um, what was the name? Pax Project. Here it is. Now you are again in Pax Project. If you are happy with what uh, the developers have done on master, you just do git merge master. Okay? Now <laughs> nothing happens because of course uh, nothing has changed, but in general you will do a merge. If uh, you are interested not in the whole master, but just getting from master some files, because you are just interested uh, in a bug fix uh, in one of the files uh, of the upstream repository, you can do git uh, checkout master, but now you add the name of the file. And uh, you will just fetch from master that file that will override the, fi the same file you have uh, in the Pax project uh, branch. Okay, so it's rather simple. Now you can uh, work on your own branch, do whatever you want, create other branches if you need. You don't touch master. Master is only used to communicate with upstream. I think that this is the easiest way to handle this type of situation.